Hey, hey, my name is Christina. I am an artist with Saint Beauty and I wanted to hop on and do a quick basics of getting started once you order your Saint makeup, how to order, how to get started and things like that. So let's go. Okay, so if you're getting started with Saint, the first and most important thing is to get color matched. In order to take a good color match photo, you're gonna stand about three feet from a window during the day, not in direct sunlight, but just enough sunlight to come on your face and show me your natural skin tones and shades. You don't wanna be in artificial light. You don't wanna have overhead fluorescent lights shining on you. All of those things are going to give your skin a different tone. And we really wanna make sure we get your colors correct. Another option with Saint, and this is a really, really cool option, is you can just choose from one of our pre-selected color level palettes. For reference, if you look at my skin, I am between a level three and a level four, depending on how much tan I have. So I'm gonna be working with the eight collection and a level four, or level three, excuse me. So I wanna show you what's in here. So you have three different shades of highlights. So your highlights are your, what you, most people would probably call like a concealer. We have a contour here and all of these colors together are going to make your foundation. So you're not putting a one layer coat of makeup and layering on top of layer upon layer. You are literally putting only the makeup only where you need it, which is really, really cool. On the bottom here, you see I have a bronzer shade, which will add warmth to your face. Lip and cheek colors here, here's two options here. And then over here is a really, really pretty light shimmery illuminator. And I'm gonna show you where you put all of those things. Let's get started with contour. Contour is to add dimension and shadows to your face. So you're gonna take the fat end or the little stubbly end of this brush here. This is the 3D brush. This is the brush that will come with this set. And you are gonna dip into your contour ever so slightly. So the contour, you don't wanna layer a ton on. It gives really good coverage, but you don't need a lot of product. Do you see how little I put on there? You're gonna just find your cheekbone and we're just gonna add some shadow to our cheek. I'm gonna pull my hair out of my way just a little bit so you can kind of see where I'm putting things. Now we're gonna move on and we are going to go into our highlight shades, okay? There's three different levels here. You see one that's pretty bright, one that can act as what we would call a camouflage color, meaning that if there's any deeper colors like these scars here or things like that, or if you have any dark colors under your eyes, this is the color that's really gonna help with that. So you're gonna dip the small end or the flat end into your highlight ever so slightly and just start patting that in where you feel like you need coverage. you can stop if you want and blend a little bit now we can move in to the next highlight color to give a little bit more brightness so I'm going to focus that a little bit more kind of in this area to give me kind of like that triangle of light broad nose and you want to contour it you have a few options you can either flatten this in and draw little lines or super simple trick just take two fingers dip into your contour put them as close as you can together and just line the outside of your nose bring it up to your eyebrows to give it a little bit more shape and come down like this you don't need a lot just enough to give it a little shadow. You can even put a little contour under your lip to make your lip pop. Now we're gonna take our brightening highlight. So this is your pop color. This color is gonna add that extra little bit of brightness, like kind of like that extra cup of coffee or energy drink or whatever you're into. I'm gonna come down the bridge of your nose. Just smooth that out, bring it up a little. We're gonna create a facelift by putting a teeny tiny bit here on this inner corner, just a few little dots like this. Right above the lip, center of the chin, 
up against the eye to create a facelift. Right under here, make this little V. Trust me. Like this. Okay, and now we're gonna blend. See that brightness? Isn't that amazing? Just tap it in. Don't go crazy with the swirling. Take your time when you're learning. Make sure you're putting it where you want it and practice. Look at that lift it creates. Do you see how my eye, like look at that. You can even see how much more lifted this side looks than this side already. Even though I have the color there, it's just not blended. So I'm gonna tap that in over here. That miraculous. Okay. Now we wanna add some warmth and some cheek color. So let's go in with a little bit of bronzer and let's talk about where bronzer should go. So your contour is to um, emphasize shadows, whereas your bronzer is supposed to mimic you just going to the beach and getting a nice little tan, okay? This way you can get one without the risk of damaging your skin. So you're gonna tap that in. We're just gonna kind of warmth. Just add a little warmth right under that contour. Look at that. I barely put any on and you can already see the difference it's making crazy, right? And do the same thing here on our cheeks. We're just going to warm it all up. Come over the bridge of our nose, just like you would wherever the sun would hit, just a teeny tiny bit. Okay, we don't want to put a ton of product on. We want this makeup to feel nice and light. The coolest part about this cream makeup, you guys, it does not clog your pores. So this truly is makeup that works for all skin types all skin tones we have different level collections and i also can color match you feel free to check out that link below um, or i will share other ways to get a hold of me or you can email me at omeomakeover at gmail.com and i can send you info on being color matched or you can follow any of the channels that i list below that you can find tutorials tips fun all sorts of things okay so now that we have our bronzer we're gonna just blend just a teeny tiny bit more. Look at that warmth. This is so fun. Okay, now we can add our cheek color. So we have two options in this palette here. So you can either mix them together, you can layer them. This color here, this is Frenchy. This is kind of like the mega color. So you see here how I have a little bit of dark darkness. Let's just troubleshoot a little bit and add just a teeny tiny bit of Frenchy right over those darkest spots, okay? And pat that in. And you're gonna watch those kind of disappear. That magic look at that unreal just gives me a little bit more coverage if I want to Frenchie is a really good color for any types of scars or dark kind of bluish under eyes okay now we're gonna go in with this Hollywood how fun is that okay so I'm gonna tap 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 in the Hollywood okay and I'm gonna take my cheek color and I'm gonna start here at my cheekbone and kind of come up into my temples. This is like my favorite way to apply blush. It gives your face even more lift than just that concealer there, okay? So tap, tap, tap. And just tap it in above your temples. Look at that color. Okay, don't be intimidated by pink blush because it, ama it is amazing when you put on the right amount in the right place, what it can do for your cheeks. Isn't that just so pretty and natural? We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. fun and then you can add that color to your lips as well just a pretty light pink if we wanted to change it up a little bit we could add a little bit of this Frenchie onto our lips with that pink mm, that's such a pretty combo now we're gonna add a little bit more Frenchie to our cheeks just for fun because it's in here I'm gonna use all of the colors Ooh, even a little bit more warmth how pretty is that together I'm a huge fan of this combo right now. <laughs> Just make sure everything's blended. Okay, last but not least, let's talk about illuminator. So illuminator, some places call it highlighter. It's like those cheeks that give all those Bravo liberties, like their glow when they're getting interviewed by Andy Cohen. So we are gonna take that. You can either use your fingers to apply, which is how I'm gonna show you, or you can use a brush. So I'm just gonna take my finger here and just pat that in. Look at that glow. Oh, how pretty is that? I'm just gonna pat that in over top. Do the same thing over here on this side. Easy peasy. How beautiful is that? You can take that illuminator as well and put it on the center of your lips. Give your lips a little bit more. 
You can take it down your nose, a little shimmer, inner corner of your eyes. It has a lot of versatility and does a lot of really fun things for your face. Now when you're done, just make sure you go in and tap, make sure everything is blended. And that's it. Last but not least, you wanna set your makeup. You have options. You can either set with our Vanilla Dust Setting Powder or any type of powder that doesn't have silicone or dimethicone in it because that'll cause the cream products to slide all over your face. Or you can use our setting spray. We have it in a travel size as well. This is the cute little travel size. This is how I like to do it and I highly re recommend doing it this way because it'll really allow your makeup to set. So you're gonna take your brush, you're gonna squirt it with your setting spray. Okay, let it get nice and wet. Take it and just tap off any excess on your hand. Okay, and then you're gonna go back over and just blend one more time and push that cream into your skin. And again, don't be afraid to push the cream into your skin because it's not gonna clog your pores. If you have oily skin, it's gonna moisturize your skin and hopefully help minimize that oil. If you have dry skin, it's gonna obviously just moisturize your skin, which is what you probably need anyway. So we're just gonna tap that in. And this makeup should stay all day. You can even put a little bit on your lips if you want that to stay just a little bit more. This makeup should stay all day. If it doesn't, um, it's because you've been touching your face probably a little bit too much. Um, but that's the other thing that's really cool is that these two things literally slide into any purse, bag, anything you need for on the go. Super easy peasy. Obviously, if it's warm outside, wherever you are, depending on the time of year, make sure that you're not allowing your cream to sit out in a hot car because it can melt. That's science. You don't want to mess with science. Um, and then I'm going to take my clip out really quick, fluff out my hair just to make sure that I am ready to go. And that's it. So, most of the time, this makeup only takes me about five to 10 minutes to apply, depending. Obviously, it takes a little bit longer when you're talking somebody through it. But I'm telling you, if you have a skin tone where you have like that medium, light tan, level three is a great um, option for you. Level one and two are for your more fair skin tones. Four to five are what um, more like your medium tan. And then we have six, seven, and eight, I believe. So they go all the way up to deeper skin tones. So we really have options for everyone. If you don't know which um, level to order, go ahead and, and let me color match you. You can fill out the link below, or um, I can just take a look at a picture and tell you which collection to try. So um, we have so many different options with Saint, and I absolutely adore this makeup. I adore teaching people how to use it. And um, as a busy mom of four and a labor and delivery nurse, this has been a game changer. It allows me to get my makeup done super quickly, and it also feels really good no matter what I'm doing. So I've worn it to the gym, I wear it to work, I wear it, you know, I put it on really quickly in the morning just to get out the door quick with kids, lots of kids, lots of busyness. Anyway, absolute, complete and pure magic in a compact. So if you want yours, just let me know. Um, you can get color match through the link below, or just say, hey, can you color match me? And I will. Hope everybody has a great week. Enjoy your Saint Beauty. I hope that you guys um, find the same joy with this makeup that I have. And I don't know, can't wait to color match you.